this tutorial will give you the quick overview of the header tab to help you get started. And the first option under the header tab is the presets option giving the various redesigned designs for your header. Then choose the header position, either you can set header or not or above menu, menu inside header or below menu. Next option is the header background and you can set any color as background of the header and you may add on gradient to the header background or you can set images for your header. Next is the height option and you can set the, your header height from the drop down or you can set it manually from here. And next is your border options. These are the various styling options for your header border like dotted dash and solid. Thickness of the border can be set from here and these are the radius options for the header border and color of your border can be set from here. This is the width option where I am getting the full width. You can set the custom width also from here and you can go to more options to set your width. Just like here I am getting custom and setting the value. Or you can go to the option equal to page width. Next is your margin option. Margin can be given to the header from the top or from the bottom to the left and from the right. Next is your texture options. You can add textures to your header. Effects can also be added and shadow options are also provided and from customization of your shadow you can go to more. Next is the option to add a foreground image to your header and you may add any other image from the gallery just like I'm adding this one. You can move it anywhere on the header and you can resize according to your requirement and to the more options you can browse any other image of your choice also just like choosing this one and these are the various options to modify your image settings done do you want to add this in your gallery or not i'm saying yes and the image is added to my gallery now there are various options just like splitting it horizontally and i can set a link to the foreground image from here just like www.tempetoaster.com and this is transparency option for the foreground image. Coming to the text area, you can add a text area to your header. And just double click to add some text like where I'm writing my website. And you can style your text to various font properties given here. And other options for the text area, you can add image, video, button and a hyperlink. Now these are the various designing options. You can add a background to the text area and effects can also be added. And border options for the text area like style, thickness, radius and color. Next coming to the header titles. This is the option to add or remove your titles. And next is typography. On the side, you can set the title to be normal, bold, italic or bold, italic. I'm setting my title to be normal one. Next is the font size. This is the option to send the font size of your header title. And next, coming to the font family, you can set the font from the Google, from custom font or you can set from the system font. And Next is the color option in order to add a color to your header title. This is the effect of the header title color. Various effects can be added from here. This is the shadow effect added to your header title. And in the text decoration, we have two options underline and strike through, and two more options all the options can be reset to a single dialog coming to slogan 
similar option for slogan also. Next option is to add a logo to your header or you can browse any other logo to the more options. And last but not the least is the bookmark option. You can bookmark your template or your theme for the next time for the future editing. Like I'm saving it with the name my theme and done and just choose under the bookmark option. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned a lot from this tutorial. Thank you.